There's a gift for Sydney commuters in next week's state budget. Nine News can reveal more than $120 million will be spent on 269 new buses. In these tough financial times, extra funding for buses is a welcome surprise. Of the 269 new buses, 155 will actually be replacing old ones. Only 69 will be extra buses for Sydney and there'll be 45 for the Central Coast, Newcastle and Wollongong. This investment in new buses doesn't just see 20-year-old buses replaced with air-conditioned, wheelchair-accessible buses, but will also see additional buses to cope with growth, both in the regions as well as across Sydney. Commuters in Seven Hills this morning said the buses are needed. So it'll be good to see um, like seats available for people that are standing up on the motorway for uh, like half an hour to 45 minutes. The old buses is really, really run down and it's really hot. I've got an old bus and it broke down in the middle on M2. Among the areas that will benefit in the northwest, Dural, Ryde and Lane Cove. In the west, Blacktown, Seven Hills and Parramatta. In the southwest, Kingsgrove, Bankstown and Camden. In the south, Hurstville and Cogra, and in the inner west, Leichhardt and Burwood. Our approach is dual prong, build the rail links that will get people off the roads and in the meantime provide the buses to match the growth that's occurring. But that's not enough according to the opposition. Bus patronage is growing, these buses aren't going to keep pace with the number of people actually who want to get onto a bus. Kevin Wilder's at the Wynyard train and bus interchange tonight. Kevin, what can we expect in terms of spending on the rail system? Well, Pete, plenty more money and the number one priority remains the North West Rail Line. Many of the people who get on and off buses here at Wynyard are served by that community. Now, when it comes to the North West Rail Line, massive spending next year, but we're still maybe six years away from it actually being open to the public. Better news with the South West Rail Line, six months ahead of schedule, and that will be open to commuters sometime in the second half of 2015, Pete. Kevin, thank